from the suspect was perhaps upset at these locations for allowing him to have an outlet for his addiction. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, let me go into a little bit of detail. So the suspect did uh, take responsibility for the shootings. Um, he uh, said that early on once we began the interviews with him. Um, he claims that these, and as the chief said, we know this is still early, but he does claim that it was not racially motivated. He apparently has an issue, uh, what he considers a, a, a sex fiction, and sees these locations as something that allows him to, to, um, to go to these places, and, and it's a temptation for him that he wanted to eliminate. Um, like I said, it's still early on, but those, those were comments that he made. Did he discuss any kind of religious uh, motivation for this, or was he responsible? Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. Or political. Non political. I've heard nothing about politics. Any sense of his social media history? Is that something you've been able to look at? That's something that investigators, I mean, they've been working on it all along, and that's certainly one of the things they'll be doing. Sheriff, did you have the sense that he understood what he, the gravity of what he did? Um, when I when we sp I spoke with investigators, they interviewed him this morning, and I, uh, they got that impression that yes, he he understood um, the gravity of it, and he was pretty much fed up, and then kind of at the end of his rope, and um, and yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. Remorseful? He, uh, I'm not going to go to. I don't know if he was remorseful or not. He's a pretty young guy. Was he a student? Does he live with his parents? He's 21 years of age. Uh, it's my understanding he does not live with his parents. I don't know who he was living with at the time of this uh, incident. Uh, I'm not aware of that either. That's some of the things. 